15 of 15 of my best DIYs in just one video for you guys. This is going to be so good. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel guys. So excited for today's video because I put together my top best 15 DIYs that I have done this year in just one video for you guys so you can enjoy it and take so many inspirations of these DIYs. Home decor pieces that you can do for your home on a budget using Dollar Tree supplies. I hope that you like them and if you do a big thumbs up, let me know in the comments which of these 15 ideas is one of your favorites. Make sure that you are subscribed and that you follow me on all my social media pages. I hope that you are ready because I am. Let's See you away together. be using this wreath from Dollar Tree and I love to use this wreath um, because it's super easy to work with. I'm going to be creating a very trendy wreath that you can see in so many places and it's basically using so many different types of greenery and put them all in just one wreath. I look on my starch bin and I grab all of the greenery that I think it can work for this project and I'm going to be putting that on this wreath. I use some types of eucalyptus that I get from Amazon a really long time ago, other ones that are from Dollar Tree and Walmart and also some pieces left from an olive tree. And what I love about this wreath is that you don't need to um, stick everything with hot glue because it's super easy to pass the stems through your wreath. This is like a very fine wreath and it's super easy to work with and you can reuse these all the time. I just mix and match some greeneries that I have on my stash and this is the result of my project. You can use greenery from Dollar Tree, different types of flowers to make the perfect wreath for spring and I just love how it turned out. Super easy, it has a high and look but I just use things that I have for years in my home. Project, you're going to need a plastic bowl or a plastic planter from Dollar Tree or any other store um, just make sure that you find something like this you can also check at Dollar Tree at the patty section they have so many options there too um, so try to find something like this and if you like the color that it has it's okay but I want to change mine for black spray paint so I spray paint this outside and then I let it dry I give it just one coat of paint and it was enough. It paint really good. And once I have that part ready, I'm going to be using a square piece of foam that I just have at home. You can get these at the floral section too from Dollar Tree. And I'm also going to be using some plastic bags um, to fulfill the entire bowl. Once I have that part ready, um, I'm going to make sure that I'm going to cover all of that plastic bags. So I'm just using a construction paper in, it's supposed to be black, but it looks like purple <laughs> um, color. So I'm going to cover um, the plastic bags with the construction paper, or you can also use maybe cardboard or something like that in a dark color. You can get these moss balls from Dollar Tree. They always bring these at the spring season. So keep an eye on that. But I was actually in one of my stores here in Puerto Rico and I found these huge huge piece of foam cover all with these foam moss balls and I really like it it was only $10 and this is huge so I decided to get one of those and I'm going to be removing um, just a couple of pieces that I know that I'm going to need for this project what I'm going to do is just to cover the entire bowl with these um, moss balls 
it's super easy you can use hot glue and this is going to dry super fast and just try to make sure that you are going to cover every single piece on these you have to work on these like a puzzle so make sure that every piece that you are going to stick on these works well and that looks good on your project As you can see, I have some small pieces left without without the moss balls. And to cover those, I'm going to be using the same pieces of foam. I'm going to cut some small pieces and I'm going to use that to cover the spaces like between the moss balls that I have on my project. That way my project is going to look so much better because I'm covering everything, making sure that you cannot see the construction paper. Like I said, you have to make the as a puzzle make sure that everything looks good once I was done this is how my project turned out and I think it looks beautiful it has this high-end look and it's a piece that it's going to work perfect now for spring and summer season and you can find things like this at Kirkland's home goods but you can DIY this piece for a fraction of the price Okay guys, for this next project, I'm going to be using these shower curtain rings that you can get at Dollar Tree or any other store. They're super cheap. And what I'm going to do is I'm also going to be using some twine and I'm basically going to cover the whole shower curtain ring with the twine and for that I'm going to be using hot glue because dries super fast is going to make these products so much easier I'm going to do it like by sections and I'm gonna be able to do these so much faster At the end you want to make sure that you cover the whole piece so I keep adding hot glue and rolling until I cover the whole shower curtain ring okay guys now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some nautical rope from Dollar Tree and I'm sorry about this next part of this project because I don't know why my camera didn't focus anything but but hopefully you can still see what I'm doing basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the nautical rope between the shower curtain ring and then I'm going to make like a small loop and I'm going to stick that with hot glue now you can leave it like that but just to make it look so much better you can add twine and I'm basically going to wrap off that part with the twine once I have that part ready I'm going to cut the other side of the nautical rope you can leave your nautical rope as long as you want I think mine is like 12 inches long and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on the other side of my nautical rope I'm going to leave a small space about like three inches maybe and then I'm going to use my twine again and I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue and I'm going to start wrapping a small piece a small part of my nautical rope hope you can see what I'm doing once I have that part ready I'm going to work on the side of the nautical rope and I need to basically spread all of my nautical rope it's going to look like so many small pieces of twine but this is going to add the perfect touch to this project so I highly recommend doing this and you can do this same project using nautical rope or maybe any other rope that you have at home okay once I have that part ready basically my project is done I made a curtain tie back and this is how you can put it on your curtain and this is going to look beautiful on any room especially if you're looking for like a boho style or maybe like some nautical vibes in your room or your house this is going to add the perfect touch to your curtains it's super easy to do you can do as many as you need and for sure I have to say that this is one of my favorite projects because it turns out amazing with a high-end look Okay, for
for this project I'm going to be using this round sign from Dollar Tree it's from the fall season but I'm pretty sure Dollar Tree brings these type of signs in this shape for every season so keep an eye on that and what I'm going to do is first I'm going to remove the piece of twine and the tape and the bow that it has now I'm going to be using some contact paper to cover this sign because I want it to have like a wood texture and this is a great hack that you can do with this contact paper they come like in a wood looking like this one or Dollar Tree have them in like a marble look and so many options that you can choose to recreate these same projects what I'm going to do is to cut a small piece of contact paper the same size that I need for this project and I'm going to start sticking these on the back side of this sign and I'm going to use this Cricut tool to make sure that um, it doesn't have any bubbles or air between my sign and the contact paper. Once I have that part ready and I have no bubbles on my project or anything and it has like a smooth surface, I'm going to um, cut all of the edges of the contact paper to have like a round shape and then I'm going to start cutting the contact paper because I need to fold these and the easiest way to do it is um, with this step. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut everything and then I'm going to stick my contact paper as best as I can. Once that part is ready and my sign is covered with this contact paper, you can use these for so many things. This time I'm going to use it as a lid. I have this beautiful basket with the legs and I really like it, but I have two and I want one of these um, to look like a table. So what I'm going to do is to use the product that I just did as a lid for this basket and it's going to work perfect. It's the same size and I'm going to put it on the top. Then I can decorate it. I'm just going to put like a small jar with some candle holders and a planter or you maybe can put a lamp. You can use these as an inspiration for you to do a, like a side table or coffee table or something like that and make it look like a wood texture using this type of contact paper. I'm going to be using these ferns that I have at home. You can find similar ones at Dollar Tree too or any other dollar store. And because this is like a grapevine wreath, it's super easy to work with it. I don't need any type of glue. I just have to put the ferns through my wreath and that is going to hold really well. Now because it's spring for sure I want to add some flowers so I decided to go with white I'm not a big fan of many colors so I think white is going to work perfect for this project I'm going to cut all of the wire or the stems of these flowers and I'm going to put those on my wreath I want this project to look super fulfilled so I'm going to be using another types of ferns that I just have at home. I'm basically using things that I just have on my stash and I'm adding them to my wreath to make it look full and beautiful with so many types of flowers and greenery. make sure that when you are doing this wreath that all of the ferns and the flowers are looking in just one direction to make it look better and have like a clean look once i was done this is how my project turned out and i absolutely love this wreath i think it's one of my favorites love all of the flowers and the ferns and how everything looks perfect for the spring season but you can also use it for summer easy easy to do and on a budget of course This 
next project you can use any round planter I'm going to be using this one that I have and I think it's beautiful love the shape and everything about this planter but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half yes I'm going to be using a really good pair of scissors and I'm going to cut this planter on half Now that I have that part ready, basically I'm going to end that up with two half planters, but they need something on the back. So for that, I'm going to be using a piece of cardboard that I just have at home. And what I'm going to do is to put the planter on top and then I'm going to trace the shape of my planter on my cardboard to be able to cut it in the perfect size and shape and everything because I'm going to be sticking these on the back of my planter. Once I trace and cut my piece of cardboard I'm going to be sticking these on my planter and I'm going to be using hot glue that's going to be more than enough because I'm going to use these planters for indoors now that I stick the cardboard and my planter together I'm going to be um, painting these I like the color but I want these a little bit um, more shiny uh, I don't know something different so for that I'm going to be using this spray paint that I got from Walmart and I'm going to spray paint my projects outside now that they are dry this is how they look and I really love the color I think it's beautiful um, but if you don't like it you can paint it any color just keep that on mind it's something that matches with your home okay now I'm going to be making a small hole on the back just to be able to hang these later if you want you can add maybe some tooth hangers on the back or a piece of twine or something like that but this is very lightweight so uh, I'm just going to make a small hole on the cardboard to be able to hang these from a nail that I have in my walls. Now that I have that part ready, it's just time to add some greenery or flower. It depends what you like and what matches with your home. Like I said, I'm going to be adding some flowers and greenery from Dollar Tree that I think are perfect now for spring. And it's going to add a beautiful touch for my walls. now that I'm done adding the greenery and the flowers I'm going to hang these on my walls and this is how this project turned out super easy on a budget with just one planter I was able to make two planters for my wall and I think it looks beautiful you, you can do this same project with any planter that you have at home For this next project, you are going to need some vases, um, bottles, and cans, and things like that. You can reuse things that you have at home. And I was looking just for different types of shapes and sizes, and also like materials and stuff like that. So I got some vases from Dollar Tree and I recycled some stuff that I have like the cans and the plastic bottles. Now I'm going to start painting all of them in different colors. I'm going to be using mostly Waverly shock paint because dries super fast. So what I'm going to do is the first um, bottle, I'm going to paint it in this celery um, like green color. It's beautiful. I give two coats on every single piece. Then I'm going to be painting this vase that is from Dollar Tree. I'm going to go with chalk paint in yellow color. Again, two coats of paint. Then I'm going to be using this super cute vase that I have for a very long time and I got it from a thrift store. I never use it so I'm going to finally add um, some paint and use it for this product and I'm really excited about that. I'm going to paint it this beautiful green color, two coats of paint, let it dry. Then I'm going to be painting this can in this pink fuchsia color um, and then I'm going to let it dry. Mm -hmm. 
and this other base is uh, made out of a nail polish remover I'm going to paint it in this like pumpkin color to coat and let it dry now I'm going to be using these natural dried flowers that I got from Home Depot but you can go to Dollar Tree they have so many really good options there you can choose any flower that you like what I'm going to do is to add one type of flower on each of the vases that I have I'm gonna try to go with a different one on each vase and I'm gonna play like with the sizes and the shapes and the amount of flowers that I'm putting on each vase once I was done, this is how this project turned out and I think it's one of my favorites. I love all of the colors, I love the dried flowers and I think it's a beautiful, cool and fun idea to put maybe on a dining table or like in my case, I'm going to put these on my daughter's bedroom. Um, you're going to need a basket you can use any basket that you have at home I have this one this is what I'm going to use and then you're going to need a smaller one because you're going to be putting that one on top but I really need these to look higher so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using like these um, the small planters that you can get at Dollar Tree they are very 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 cheap but I'm going to be using that to create some height what I'm going to do to reinforce everything I'm going to add some stones inside of those small planters and then I'm going to stick both together using hot glue once that part is ready I'm going to stick this inside of the bigger planter again using hot glue and then I can stick the other small planter on top I hope that makes sense and <laughs> you can see what I'm doing guys Okay, once I have that part ready, it's time to add some paint uh, because I want everything to look the same. I'm going to be using some spray paint in white color. I'm going to give it a really good coat of paint outside, then let it dry. And this is how my planters are going to look. And I really, really, really like it. I love the white color and how it's looking for now. To make this super cool and functional, um, to put on your patio or your front porch, you can add the number of your house that is going to add a beautiful touch to you can use your Cricut or you can do it by hand using paint or markers now it's time to add your greenery or your real plants or flowers I'm not good with real flowers or plants so I'm going to be using everything full I'm going to add some greenery on the bigger planter and then I'm going to add some flowers on the planter that eats on the top I'm done with this project, a super easy DIY that anyone can do, looks absolutely beautiful and you can put this on your front porch, on your backyard or your patio. Let's start this project using this bamboo cutting board that you can get at Dollar Tree And you can do so many projects with this bamboo cutting board And today I'm going to show you a very simple one but that is super trendy right now First you're going to need some tape and what I'm going to do is to start adding the tape on my bamboo cutting board And I'm gonna try to create like a shaker pattern it's gonna end up looking like a chess table game first i'm going to add the tape on one direction and then i'm going to put it um, in a vertical way and then what i'm going to do is to use a knife and i'm going to start removing all of the pieces that i don't need i'm going to be painting these so i need to have some squares without any type of tape to be able to paint them and i think the easiest way is for you to use a knife or something like that to cut the pieces of tape that you don't need and then you can start painting. Yeah. 
for the paint you can use maybe white or black the colors that are very trendy right now is um, like brown so you can make like your shaker pattern on these colors and for that I'm going to be using some wax in antique color I'm going to paint everything then I'm gonna let it dry so I can remove the tape Once I was done, this is how my project turned out. Super, super easy on a budget. Cost me only $1.25. I have the tape and the paint already. And I love how it looks. You can put this on your kitchen and you can have this look for less using Dollar Tree supplies. Let me know if you like it. Give it a big thumbs up right now. guys for this project you are going to need some canvas and I got this ones from five below they come in a set of three in three different sizes um, and as you can see the shape that they have is a square shape you can use the ones from Dollar Tree but they always bring like the rectangle ones but that's up to you you can use the one that you like the most for this project I'm going to be using two canvases in two different sizes I'm gonna get the bigger one and the smaller one and I need to use all like the wood frame so I'm going to be using my staple remover I'm going to remove all of the staples to be able to take out the canvas fabric now you can paint those frames in any color you like maybe some stain but um, because they have like staples on the front part I decide just to cover them using some shock paint in a black color so I'm going to give these two frames a really good coat of black color and then I'm going to let them dry Once they're dry, this is how they look. For this project, I really want to make a photo frame with so many details to have a high-end look at the end. So I'm going to be sticking these two um, frames together. And for, that, and for that, I'm going to be using popsicle sticks. I'm going to cut my popsicle sticks and I'm going to start sticking them between the big wooden frame and the small wooden frame. And you can do this as you want. You maybe can create different shapes or designs. You can just stick them all together i'm going to start sticking one popsicle stick on each side and then i'm going to stick two other pieces in the center like creating a triangle hope that makes sense you can see what i'm doing this is just for you to have an idea on how you can create a nice design using popsicle sticks Once I have that part ready, I want to put a photo. So for that, I'm going to be first using the canvas fabric from the smaller canvas. And I'm going to cut all of the edges to be able to stick that on the back part of the wooden frame. Once that part is ready, um, you can go to Walgreens maybe or any place that you can print your photo or maybe like an instant photo. And you can stick that on the center of these photo frame. Once I'm done, this is how my project turned out. It was so easy, so fun to make. And I think I have a very cool high-end look photo frame that I can put in any part of my home. And it's going to look absolutely beautiful. I just used some canvases and popsicle sticks that you can get from Dollar Tree. Project, you are going to need one of these foam wreaths from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be creating a tray I need a base for these um, wreaths so what I'm going to do is to use um, just a piece of cardboard that I have at home I'm gonna trace a circle 
try to create the same size of my wreath and then um, if you want you can leave like that you can use only the piece of cardboard but I'm going to be using a white board um, to add on top to make it look um, better and with a clean look I'm going to cut a circle I'm going to stick it with hot glue and then I'm going to cut everything to make sure that it's the perfect size so that everything can look nice and clean and perfect now what I'm going to do is to stick these pieces together. Again, I'm going to be using hot glue. It's the easiest and fastest way so this can dry super quick. Now what you need to do is to paint everything in just one color. I decided to go with white because I'm going to be creating like a marble piece. So my base color is going to be white. I'm going to be using Waverly shock paint. I'm going to give it just one coat of paint and then I'm going to be drying everything with my heat tool. Works amazing. I use this tool all the time and I'm going to leave you the links in the description box. Now, like I said, I'm going to be creating a marble look, but something that is super trendy right now, like I said, are the um, natural colors, the browns, the creams. So I'm going to be using chalk paint in mineral color and the wax antique color. I need everything to look soft and nice. So the, I think the easiest and best way is that you can use like a wet napkin or maybe wipes add the color into your napkin and then you can add that on your tray or the piece that you are painting that is going to be super easy you want to pay like an 80 percent of your project like that it's gonna look like clouds on your project once that part is ready you want to create all of like the veins of a marble look so for that you're going to need a very thin pencil you need to add those lines um, to make it look like veins don't need to be perfect and then if you want to make it look more realistic you can use the same napkin and add some touches on top so the veins of the marble look can have a softer look i'm gonna let this dry and then this is how my project turned out so easy i have so much fun creating this project i love the colors this is a very trendy piece that you can put anywhere in your house you know i was using just a foam wreath and some cardboard that i have at home guys i have a video full of diys that you can do with wreaths so make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so you can check those videos and the upcoming ones that are going to be hilarious let's get started with this project i'm going to be using this big planter and you can find a similar one at dollar tree and i'm going to use it to put it outdoors what i'm going to do is first i'm going to use these two pieces of foam that i just have at home and i'm going to glue them to my planter with hot glue you can run to dollar tree and get solar light i get a bunch of them for this project i'm going to be using only three what i'm going to do is to add like the pointy part that's supposed to go on the ground and I'm going to put that on my solar lights and that is what is going to help me to put all of my solar lights through the piece of foam that I just stick to my planter and like I said I'm going to use three solar lights for this project once I have that part ready I need to cover everything you can use any greenery that you have maybe moss I have a garland for a very long time and I wanted to use it so I'm going to add that to cover all of the foam in my planter And if you want to add that extra touch not for spring you can use some flowers any color i love neutral so i'm gonna go with white and you can spread out all of the stems from your flowers and once i did that i'm going to insert the flowers into the piece of foam and because i spread them out it looks beautiful and perfect on my planter 
Now you can leave your project just like that or if you want to add an extra touch I'm going to be using a piece of ribbon and I'm going to stick that on the very top part of my solar lights. I want to add some texture to this project and I think this ribbon is going to be a game changer. I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue on top then add the ribbon and then cut it and I'm going to do the same on the three solar lights. Once I have that part ready, this is how my project turns out and I really, really like it. I think it's a beautiful project, easy, anyone can do it. You can use it as a centerpiece, but at night this is going to be perfect too because the solar lights are going to do their job and it's going to look beautiful and super bright at night. I'm going to be using just a very random piece of wood that I have at home and you can also use maybe a sign from Dollar Tree. On the back side I'm going to be adding this tooth hanger to be able to hang these on my walls. Once I add the tooth hanger on the back, I'm going to be putting three nails on the front of this wooden piece. Um, make sure that the nails that you're going to use are pretty long because these are going to be like some hangers for the pictures that we are going to be using next. I found these pictures at the dollar store and I really love the shape that they have and they're very cheap so I decided to use them. I don't like the color so I'm going to change that for this Waverly shock paint in moss color. I love to paint with shock paint. It's super easy and it dries so fast. So what I'm going to do is to paint these um, pictures with two really good coats of paint and I'm going to let them dry. make sure that when you are painting uh, just try to paint like in one direction so that your project and the paint is going to look uniform and good and it's going to have this high-end look you can also use maybe spray paint if you want or acrylic paint and in between coats I'm going to be using my heat tool to dry everything faster Once the three pictures are dry, I'm going to be adding them to my piece of wood. Like I said, they're going to be hanging on the nails that I just put on the wood piece. And once I have that part ready, basically the project is done. Super easy and it looks beautiful. Now what you can do is to add some flowers or greenery inside of the pictures. I found this greenery at Dollar Tree and I really like it so I add that. And I hang my project on the wall and this is how it looks. Love the results, super easy on a budget, looks beautiful. Just one idea that you can do with the pictures that you can find at the dollar stores. Okay guys for this project you can use one of these beer glass cups and I love the shape it has it's perfect for this project but a few moments later it fell and broke so instead of that I'm going to be using this vase that you can get at Dollar Tree and the shape is pretty similar you're gonna need something like this to create this project or you can use maybe any vase that you have at home I think it's going to work too you are also going to need some rubber bands and you can get a package and you're going to use just a few my idea was to put a few of these rubber bands around my base creating different designs this is up to you you can make so many like straight lines or you can put them where you think they're going to look nice I 
I think I put about six of these rubber bands on this project and now I'm going to paint this I'm going to be using some spray paint um, to paint this this is the color that I'm going to use it's like a very very light or like a mint green something like that um, but it's very beautiful so I decide to go outside and paint this with my spray paint and then I'm going to let it dry very well when you're painting this outside with the spray paint just make sure that you are not going to paint like the inside of the vase um, try to avoid that part now once the project is ready once it's super dry you can go ahead and start removing all of the rubber bands very careful so you don't mess up the paint Once I removed my rubber bands, this is how the project turned out and I really love this project. You can try this with any vase that you have at home, but I think with a glass cup or vase, it's going to look amazing. Now you can put whatever you want inside, maybe some flowers or greenery like I did. And that's it. This is how the project turned out and I really love how this project looks. Beautiful. It was on a budget, so easy to make and so much fun. I'm going to be using this rectangle mug in this color. I really, really love the texture of this mug. So I'm going to leave it just like that, but I'm going to be adding some more texture on this project. First, I'm going to use my Waverly Wax in antique color. You can use maybe some acrylic paint too. And I'm going to be adding those on the edges, on the top and the bottom, just to give it like an H look. Then I'm going to dry everything super fast using my heat tool. Now to add the texture, I'm going to be using some of these moss in green color that you can get at Dollar Tree or maybe Walmart. And what I'm going to do is to stick that on this rattan mug. Um, to be able to stick that, I'm going to be using hot glue. You can use maybe another glue if it's easier for you. But the hot glue is going to dry super fast. What I'm going to do is to take like a chunk piece of the moss and I'm going to add that on the hot glue. And once I'm done adding all of the moss, I'm going to use my scissors and I'm going to cut any excess of moss that my project can have just to make it look better. Once I have that part ready, my project is basically done. Um, you can add some greenery if you want. Or you can add some flowers like I did in white color, which I think it looks beautiful. Or maybe you can add some eggs on top for Easter something like that and this is how the project turned out super easy on a budget love all of the textures and the color that this project have and I hope that you like it too okay my loves I hope that you can get ideas and inspiration from this video 15 ideas that you have to try using Dollar Tree supplies these are super easy to make so on a budget that you can do using Dollar Tree supplies and maybe things that you have around your house if you like this video please a big thumbs up let me know in the comments which of these 15 ideas is one of your favorite and make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and that you follow me on all my social media pages guys thank you so much for the love and support and see you on my next video Mwah. bye guys